Okay, for this point of sale demonstration, we will be using an MC75 device and a Datamax O'Neill OC2 printer. The handheld and the printer are connected via Bluetooth. As I'm logging into my point of sale application, I am being validated against the existing point of sale system. Global Bay has the flexibility to integrate to a number of systems, including SAP Traversity, CRS, Raymark, or a custom system that you have built. I can start by looking up a customer. This allows me to associate my customers with their purchases. The customer lookup screen can also be bypassed. Now we can start scanning items. Each item is authenticated against the existing POS system. We can also enter multiple quantities, void items that have been entered in error, or do a lookup of an item. The lookup allows the user to see how many items or, or, or what the quantity of those items are located in other stores. Okay, now we will go ahead and tender out with a credit card. Verify my amount and using my Visa and the printer, go ahead and swipe my credit card. And here's my receipt for my transaction and my transaction is complete. Next, we'll do a suspend and retrieve transaction. Transaction starts off the same way. Start by searching for my customer. Select my customer. Scan a few items. And then click on the payment tab and click the suspend button. This will now print out a receipt with a barcode. As you can see, this receipt now has a barcode. I can go ahead and take my handheld, select re retrieve transaction, scan that barcode. We see my items appear, and then we can go ahead and tender out once again. This can be useful in a line busting situation or even to use other types of tenders such as cash or debit. And once again, my transaction is complete.